In this module, we will discuss what is the Google Tag Manager. And for dealers who've never heard of Tag Manager, I think once you see the potential for Tag Manager and the data that it can provide you, you will call up your website provider and get Tag Manager installed. Keep in mind that we have an entire course on Google Analytics and we will be adding to the course some hands-on examples on how to use Tag Manager to create events for all of the popular third-party tools that dealers put on their website. But I'm jumping ahead a little bit. Let's start with learning about what Tag Manager is. If you Google Google Tag Manager, like I've shown on the screen, you will see it's the first search result. And then, of course, if you go to the home page, you can sign up to get your Google Tag Manager account. I would suggest that you use the same account that is associated with your Google Analytics. So it's just very simple when you're working with Tag Manager and Google Analytics, since they are interconnected that you're using the same login. Now, the features of Tag Manager are well documented on their website. There's no need for you to dig in to all the, well, dozens or hundreds of pages on Tag Manager. In this module, I'm going to tell you a little bit about why dealers should be using it. And of course, there's great resources online um, with their help system to, well, step you through how to use the Tag Manager. But let's put it in some practical applications for auto dealers. Every car dealer in the United States is focused on driving more shoppers to their website to connect with consumers who are considering buying a new or used car or servicing their car. And of course, depending on your website design, there's many elements that could appear on the home page or on internal pages. This happens to be a dealer.com website. Over here is a dealer on website. And there's many elements on the home page and internal pages that, while well, dealers may want to know if consumers are clicking, meaning how many people are really clicking on the consumer's reviews button here, or how many people on the home page are actually scheduling service. Now, in our Google Analytics course, we've shown you how to set up goals to track those events. But there's some things that Google Analytics can't do. For example, how many people click on this toolbar below to start a chat. For example, if I click on these questions live chat now, it pops up this active engage chat box. How many consumers are engaging with this survey or this chat interface? Well, now with Google Tag Manager, I can know that. But let's go even further. What if you're using dynamic advertising and you're driving consumers directly to a VDP? Wouldn't you like to know how many people maybe started this create a deal action? There's a button here on the site. Do you know how many people visit a VDP and then click create your deal? Well, it's a problem with Google Analytics because when I click on this, watch, create your deal, it goes to a separate website. This website does not have Google Analytics that the dealer controls. But with Tag Manager, if somebody clicks on this green button and launches this third-party tool, well, we'll know. How about Auto Check? You see Auto Check is here on the right-hand side. If I click Auto Check again, it brings up a separate page if you wanted to know how many people were actually clicking from a VDP on AutoCheck, Tag Manager will tell you. But it's even more than that. The Rydell organization has a video here. 
How do you know if somebody, when they visited a VDP, engaged with your YouTube video? We can track that as well. But it applies to all website platforms. Here, Lithia Toyota of Abilene has this auto trader instant trade in offer. Again, if I click on this, it goes to another page on the dealership's website. Well, Google Analytics can track that. But what about other things like the Carfax? When I click on the Carfax button, look, it leaves the website. Google Analytics wasn't able to track that event, but Tag Manager can. Take a look. This text, SMX here, if a consumer visits a VDP and wants to text, Tag Manager can tell you, or to chat. Or how about up here? This $25 test drive offer, and if it triggers this code to execute, which is Hook Logic's uh, incentive program, Tag Manager can tell you. Why is this important? Because companies like Lot Links that are driving traffic directly to a VDP, or your dynamic inventory advertising from your Google AdWords partner. More and more traffic is being deep linked to a specific car. And here's really an important thought. If I saw a picture of this 2011 Audi Q5 on a third party classified and lot links drove me directly to this VDP, and this is the car that I was interested in. If I scan this page for 30 seconds, 40 seconds, got all the information that I wanted and left, Google would say that it was a bounce. But what if in that 40 seconds, I looked at photos? Google does not consider that engagement. Tag Manager could tell you, yes, they visited one page, but they looked at the photos. They looked at the videos. They did a 360 rotation on the car. They clicked on auto check, meaning Google could say, hey, this person came and only stayed 50 seconds. But if they're engaging on your page, 50 seconds may be fine. So Google Analytics gives you actually misleading information. But granted, if someone comes to the VDP and spends 10 seconds and leave, that should be a bounce. But what happens when a consumer comes to this page and clicks SMX text and starts texting? And well, they set an appointment and then they leave. Google would say that's a bounce. But ladies and gentlemen, don't you see? that a visit to one page could be an absolutely great event. But Google Analytics can't tell you if they texted, can't tell you if they chatted, can't tell you if they engaged with the gift card. But Tag Manager can. It applies to every website platform. Did the person start a chat on this VDP? Did this person view any of the other information on the page that allowed them to stay on this page. This is really important. For the first time, using Tag Manager, dealers can understand exactly what's going on their website and more accurately reduce the reported bounce rate by accurately reporting engagement. Meaning you could say, if a consumer stays on a page more than 30 seconds or if a consumer stays on a page more than 30 seconds and engages with a page, that is not a bounce. Those of you who have taken our Google Analytics course will understand the power of Tag Manager. But let me just explain how to get started with Tag Manager because it's really quite easy. On every website platform, um, you install some type of third-party code. We do it all the time. For example, if I go search for a used car, okay, this auto trader trade-in offer is a third-party tag. This auto check and Carfax is a third-party tag. Every time you want to add something, you call up your website provider and say, would you please add this, add this? Well, Google realized how inefficient that was. 
So what they did is allowed you to create a container. Just think of on every website page, there's a box. And in that container, you could put in all the tags and third-party code that you want, meaning you can place the right tracking on your website through the Tag Manager, one place, meaning you can log in to your Google Tag Manager account and say, I want to track this, I want to track this, I want to track this, and your website company doesn't have to be involved. It's so simple. Put all of your third-party code, all your events and goals, everything in one box that is managed through the Tag Manager interface. It's that simple. So consider the opportunities that Tag Manager can give your dealership. It will supercharge your analytics. It will supercharge your digital marketing strategy because for the first time, you can see accurately when consumers visit your website, will they engage with your third-party tools? Will they start a chat or create a deal? What are they doing on your website, not only with the pages you control, but with your third-party plugins? And ladies and gentlemen, that is the next level of intelligence that dealers need because you are in the e-commerce business. We need to make sure that we're merchandising our VDPs. But why would you put things on your website if consumers aren't engaging with them? It's time to separate the wheat from the chaff. It's time for you to know what's working and not working. If consumers aren't clicking on something, let's get rid of it. If consumers are clicking a lot on something, let's learn from it and test new things. And the Google Tag Manager will allow you to do that. So do a search for the Google Tag Manager. Learn a little bit about how to use the Tag Manager call up your website company, get it installed, and then in our course, we're going to show you how to set up Tag Manager for Contact at Once or Active Engage, how to set up Tag Manager for Blue Book, Auto Trader, Carfax, how to set up Tag Manager for a dealer.com website, a dealer on website, a dealer e-process, a dealer inspire, a CDK. We're going to add specific video training so you can master your website. So what are you waiting for? Get started with the Google Tag Manager platform by contacting your website company and asking them to install your container. <laughs>